please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the CryptoZone live page which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my CryptoZone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shoal.reaper at gmail.com. Well, here we are. Thank you very much, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Wow, 200 subscribers. Welcome, welcome to each and every one of you. And uh, welcome back to my channel, guys. And uh, we, are going, we are going to continue playing the beast inside chapter 8 if I'm not mistaken um, so what happened last week and that was a bit of a long video and last week we actually had a past event again inside the inn a lot of gruesome scary stuff happening and uh, this time we have awoken in the middle of the forest tied up and we don't know how we got there so let's see if we can get ourselves out of this jam and also let's see if we can keep the camera running until the end of the game okay hopefully this one won't be as long as last week but we will we'll see what we get is what we get hey chapter seven okay so this is chapter seven however impossible it may sound nicholas journals helped me to crack the soviet ciphers but my joy turned out to be short-lived in an unexpected turn of events I had to track down a spy and tried to find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn, where I stumbled across another collection of Hyde's thrilling memories. Was it memoirs? Memoirs. But it's sneaky. And yes, this is a Japon. Okay, it's night time. It's cold. I'm in my study. It's winter. What the fuck is going on? Where, where am I? How? All of a sudden... <sighs> did, did, did someone knock me out when I was at the ruins? But, but why would they drag me here? And, and how am I supposed to go home? Yeah, it's a bit difficult if we don't know where we are exactly. And uh, we don't have a map. Exactly. And... Okay, if I must think about this, I think when we escaped the inn in our last chapter, we were running kind of into a mine that looked like this. So I think we just follow the tracks back to the inn and then from there on we'll work our way back. I forgot to switch off the cell phone sound. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Firewatch Chapel, so there's a chapel that way. Shall we go to the chapel? I need to find the way home. Ah, campsite. Let's see if there's anything interesting that we can get. Hello? Anybody here? There's a map lying there. Oh, how convenient. I just said we don't have a map. A crank for something that we're definitely going to use later on. Let's take the map. Okay, uh, okay, where are we? I guess this is where we are. 
Ready tyrants. These guys were looking for something. This the ruined inn. Hunting tower. Hunting tower is close to my house. Oh, old home, private areas. I'm actually quite far away. And it doesn't really show me where I am, but. Uh, more ciphers. However, whoever had set up this camp left behind the map. This looks like another cipher. E4, D9, blah, 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 blah. According to the map, the house should be nearby. I just have to make it through that cave. It doesn't look nearby to me. Read. Uh, we sit. I don't know when that happened. I woke up and I knew my wife wasn't my wife. Something replaced her at night, pretending to be my significant other. I was terrified, but I didn't let it show. I went to her son's room to tell him some mean lady is pretending to be his mommy. He was still asleep. So I woke him up by shaking him gently by the shoulders. He opened his eyes, surprised, and then it hit me. It wasn't my son. I didn't know that child is certainly wasn't mine. Petrified with terror, I ran into the hallway. I rested my hand up on my knees trying to uncover, overcome dizziness. When I stood back up, I saw a man in the front of me. Who the hell are you? He yelled. What are you doing in my house? I didn't answer. I was too stunned. I had never seen such nerve. But when I tried to grab him by the throat, my hand only hit the hard surface of a mirror. The menacing intruder instantly fell into pieces, screaming with a voice that sounded just like mine. Jake Capris. Hmm. Interesting. I have no idea if I'm going the right direction, but we will be going this direction. And this is what the crank was for. Now yeah, we could just follow the river. It goes past my house anyway. Let's see if the game doesn't stutter again. Seems like it's at least going smoothly. I think this is the same cave we came through the first time when we were chasing that. Uh, Spy. Let's take a bit of a run. Don't want to waste more time than I need to. Ah, you see, there's another bridge. A fixed one, that's why this arrow is there. Jesus fucking Christ, they, they're really hanging here. Someone actually did murder these people and leave their bodies here in this fucking godforsaken place where, where Emma and I just happened to move. Fuck, 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 fuck. The stupid question. Who are the people that's hanging there? Ah, probably the people from the campsite. Death to traitors. Some psycho thought these people were traitors, but why? Went on some McCarthyite commie witch hunt. Was that really what it was about? Or maybe, maybe it's some kind of provocation aimed at me. Uh, not everything is about you, dude. And they've been hanging here for a little while, I think. 
Should better get home and see if my wife is still alright. I'd better hurry. Emma's on her own back there. Remember the beginning we saw that uh, the guy was stabbed with a knife in his head and we all think it is me? I'm... I might have a suspicion that it wasn't me. But we'll see There's when we damn get... Place again. We'll see when we get to the end of the game. We have to be more careful about um, stuff falling apart around us. Christ, is this? It's a doll. Oh. Oh fuck! Fuck! What was that? What is going? On? Poisoned me, but how? Coffee, they must have slipped something into my coffee. Or maybe all those transmitters are some kind of emitters to mess with my mind. What if this guy is actually a psychopath and he's got a split personality? And his personality is the one killing everyone and everything. I can't believe they killed a child. Really? You sick fucks. Making this game like this. How dare you? Kind of low, eh? Okay, let's see if we can run over before the bridge breaks. They're good, gotta give them that. They're trying to they're trying to break me, but I know they're Soviet tricks. I won't let them know I saw them though. I'll play their game, but on my rules. This guy's already paranoid. He's going to lose this battle before it even starts. I knew I wasn't gonna get out of here. I just needed to see if there wasn't something interesting lying there, okay? <gasps> Sorry about the phone intrusion, guys. I forgot to switch off the bloody volume on the phone. Okay, interesting. This makes me think, remember we uh, have the map, let's see something on, 
u equals b. u equals b. Okay, u equals b on the map. Let's see. Notes. Map. So there's no u equals b thing here. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, guys, so uh, you know the map that we have is definitely the key. And you know that uh, code breaker we have? This one is also part of the key. So uh, let's quickly say it said on the roof there u equals b. So let's turn this around. U equals B. There we go. U equals B. Okay, and then the map says E for. E number four. One, two, three, four. That's why. Um, ah. There, finally. Defeat. So, uh, yeah, using the map and using that uh, cylinder, you get the password. The program has been in place since the 50s. Can you believe it? They have been misled, misleading us for almost 30 years, making us focus on the bomb, telegram spies, and everything else. Meanwhile, they had us nailed since Stalin's death. The so called East Department, the first chief directorate of the KGB, the commies built their own American town, where future steeper agents will learn how to act 100% American. So, could have understand you would uh, how would we have that to the headquarters H uh. this just adds more to his paranoia
I don't think this is the road further. I think we must carry on. I really wasted too much time. That doesn't look safe. I was definitely thinking it before I stepped on it. I was thought I was gonna maybe jump over it. But uh, to intimidate me, and that's the basis of all controls. Suckers, you think you can break me like that? With an animal carcass? With a few dead bodies? Seriously? Who do you think I am? An idiot. They're already breaking you, buddy. You just don't realize it. Hey, I can see my house from up here. Nope. Some of this, um, should start looking familiar. This looks a bit high. There we go. A proper horror game will have someone standing right behind me as I turn around. And nope. <gasps> Can we cross here? Fucking commies can't hide from them. They'll follow you to the end of the world, but if I tell anyone, they'll think I'm crazy, and that's what commies want. They, that, 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 that's how they break their enemies, the dirty bastards. They think they can send a fake cop here and I'd fall for that like a rookie? No, ain't gonna be that easy with me. Uh, I don't think it's a fake cop. I think it's an actual cop. But this guy's so paranoid at this stage that he's gonna think anything, I think. Honey, what's going on? Why is there a... Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? You know, I, I wanted to find a... <laughs> why, why are you crying? What's... Six hours? Wh is that all? What? You were gone for six hours. You went and just vanished. I didn't vanish. I just tried to remove those damn bugs. What? What, what bugs? What are you talking about? You left me all alone, and some psycho slashed our tires. Are you serious? I called the sheriff, but when we were in front of the house, that guy broke in. Into your office. What, what do you mean, broke in? Are you kidding me? Fuck the telegrams. That son of a bitch took the telegrams. The sheriff noticed the broken window as soon as we went back home and... Wait, wait a minute. Who gave you the right to let strangers in, to go through my stuff? He's a sheriff, not a stranger. Besides... Sheriff, my ass. You have no idea how capable the people who want to get me are. They can impersonate anyone. Don't you realize that what I do affects millions of people? You think I'm stupid? I called for help because someone's stalking us. Besides, the guy couldn't have gone far and the, the sheriff is after him. You don't have to act like such a dick. It was me that was in danger. Me, not your nameless millions. Fuck. Fuck. What a mess. Hopefully he's left some traces. I better look around. Okay guys, up to this far. Um, this chapter is extremely long. So um, I'm cutting the video here. Uh, we'll be coming back in next week to chapter 7. And we'll continue searching for the um, sheriff. Because it seems like it's the sheriff who is spying on us. 
if he is really the sheriff, it might be uh, one of the Russians. So um, I did play a far hit uh, ahead, and I still couldn't finish. It was already like an hour and 20 minutes long, and I don't want to make uh, the game that long, So or the video is that long. So I'm going to stop it here, and then uh, we'll come back next time, and we'll see what happens in the rest of the game. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for 200 subscribers, and let's keep it going. Until next time, cheers.